how do we use the Google Slides calendar? The kids are going to have um, pages that you print off. I put them in these cheap little notebooks, and you're just going to put in the pages you want with enough calendars for the whole year, and they're going to follow along with you. Every day they're doing this with you. So when you start, you're going to grab this little square up at the top left-hand corner, and then you push delete, and there is a red number one underneath it. So in their calendars, your students are going to use their red crayon to trace over number one. They can't do number two because we don't know what color number two is going to be. We have to wait until tomorrow to figure that out. So that's the first page. Every day you're just going to delete another square to count how many days you've been in school. The next slide is the same thing except larger numbers. So we're just going to skip that one for right now. We're not there yet. The third slide is tally marks. So to make your tally marks, you're going to grab the first space up here on the top left hand corner and press the delete key to reveal a tally. So with the red crayon, your students are gonna make one tally. Tomorrow, you're gonna grab that same spot, press delete, and now they're gonna make another tally. You're gonna keep working in that same space until you get five and they have a complete set of five and then they're gonna move over to the next spot. So now you're gonna go over here, and build the next set of tallies. I use, um, there's a different color for each group because it just makes a really nice visual. And then we'll use this page to count by fives how many days have we been in school. So right now it's not very exciting, five, six, seven, but as we go on five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, um, it's good practice for counting by fives. The next slide is the shoes. I use this one to reinforce odd and even numbers. So we're gonna grab the first space down here on the bottom left, delete, there's a purple shoe. So we're gonna to go to that same spot and color one purple shoe. Tomorrow, we'll grab this spot right next to it and delete that one. So we have a pair of shoes. So I always talk about odd and even on this slide. The third day, we're gonna keep going like that. Again, um, the colors go together to make it a nice visual and we're gonna practice skip counting by twos using this slide. Next up, we have 10 frames. So you're just gonna grab a 10 frame and press delete and your kids are gonna start building 10 frames. So on the first day of school, we have one red circle in there. Tomorrow, we're gonna grab that same spot delete and now we're going to make two red circles we're going to keep going like that throughout the year the next page we have is counting coins and there is a lot going on in this slide so sometimes it takes a little bit to load because um, the graphics are so big so we're going to grab this piggy there's one penny so on the first day we're just talking about there's one penny in our piggy bank and a penny is worth one cent Tomorrow, I'm going to grab this slide and delete it, which will add another penny into our piggy bank. And we'll talk about how now we have two pennies, and that's worth two cents. We're on the second day of school, and that's what two cents looks like. So we're going to keep going like that all year long. And that delay in it will get better because right now there's so much, but as the year goes, we're actually making this file smaller and smaller so that it will run faster and faster. Then we get to our lost teeth chart. So in August, you might say, did anybody lose a tooth? And uh, maybe Billy says, I lost a tooth. So you're gonna grab this little square here and delete it and everyone will get their red crayon and color in the, that spot on their chart. So we're building a bar graph. And you might have maybe three kids lost teeth on the same day. And then you might go weeks with losing no teeth. So that is, the lost teeth chart. And then September, you'll move over to the next spot. And now we're working with orange, so it makes a nice visual of the bar graph. Then we have birthdays. So you can type kids' names right here, um, or you can put in their pictures, which is really fun, whatever one you would rather do. So maybe Lily's birthday was on the 7th, so I could put that. Um, 
And then your kids can write that in their calendars too, who had a birthday on what day. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit over here. So now we're on to August. On the top of their calendars, they're gonna write August and the year, and then you are just gonna delete these question marks. Oops, I'm in the wrong spot. To find the numbers, and they're gonna follow along so that they're making their own calendar. And of course, August 1st is all the way over here on a Saturday. So these are also nice because there are patterns in all of the numbers. The, the numbers, um, the color of the numbers makes a pattern. So we have red, red, blue, red, red, blue. What color do you think number seven is going to be? We're going to continue this pattern. Um, and there are different kinds of patterns in all of the months. Next up, we have the weather graph. So on the weather graph, you are just going to grab, um, if it's a sunny day, whatever it is, you start at the bottom, you work your way up, and delete. And the kids are going to follow along in their calendars to build bar graphs. So tomorrow, if it's sunny again, I'm going to grab the next one and delete. And in Google Slides, this is going to save by itself every day. It saves as you work, so you don't even have to worry about it, which is really nice. And then at the end of the year or the beginning of next year, you can go into your Teachers Pay Teachers account and you'll download the resource again to get the updated version um, for the next school year. I usually update those in July, just so that you know. Our next slide. For fully transparency, I don't use this slide. I've included it because I know that a lot of teachers like it, but in my calendar routine, I don't use it. Today is blank, um, today's day, yesterday was, tomorrow will be, that kind of stuff. But because I don't use it, or if there's anything else over here that you don't wanna use, you can just grab that slide from the left-hand side over there and delete and it'll be gone. It won't be included in yours. That's the nice thing about these, they're so, um, customizable to fit your classroom and your needs. Maybe you have some students who aren't allowed to celebrate birthdays or your school says that it's against their school policy for you to celebrate birthdays. Take this birthday slide and delete it and it's gone from your resource. Or if you say, I wanna use this, but I teach preschool and we don't have anybody losing teeth, so I don't want that in my room, then you can get rid of that slide. You can make this what you need it to be to fit your needs. So I hope that that answers all of your questions and thank you guys so much for your purchase.